What is going on guys, it's Wava here and welcome back to some more Skyrim Remastered. Anyways, last time we left off, we're going to be looking for this chef guy, this world famous chef, the gourmet. We're going to do a face reveal on him, but before that, I want to tell you guys that I, I crafted a bunch of jewelry, like I said at the end of the last episode. Crafted a bunch of that, enchanted it with uh, pretty much all my soul gems that weren't like black or grand soul gems. So, uh, you know, I, I then I sold them, of course, and then got a pretty good amount of money. You remember, we spent a lot of money on uh, that one guy, I forget who it was, but he was at the Dark Brotherhood area. Trained us a lot in um, Master Level. Uh, light armor and we're down to like twenty two thousand dollars we're up to twenty seven thousand dollars now after i you know sold all that as well as sold a eh, decent chunk of stolen stuff to a thieves guild every here and there but now i have my inventory completely empty i even got a level up and uh, our smithing is up to 73 now it went up quite a lot by making all that jewelry which is nice but now i have this where we can create scaled and plate armor at forges and improve them twice as much. Which, uh, I, I was kind of debating, like, should I do that one or should I get this dwarven smithing one? But I decided to get this one, that way we're hopefully able to make glass armor and upgrade our glass stuff twice as much here. Because we do need a level 70 for that, and we are 73 now, so if we do get a level up next, I think I'll upgrade that if I, you know, remember to use my conjuring a little bit more, which I think is, uh, this. Uh, yep, I think this is a conjuration thing, right? We spawn one in. What is it? It's a mistmend? Uh, yep, it is. Okay. Well, I just need to remember to keep on using my conjuration so we can, you know, level that up and maybe get the, uh, the, what is it called? The Daedric Lord, Death Lord or something. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, those are really good things. Anyways, let's, let's go find this one, I guess. The Apprentice of the Gourmet, the one guy who knows his true identity, other than, you know, Gaius Barrow, who's dead. Anyways, I think we have to select the mission. Uh, kill Agnes. Oh, wait, what the? Uh, oh, yeah, that's one of those kind. Yeah, we can do that a little bit later. Ant Anton Varan. Let's go find this guy. Recipe for disaster. So where's this guy hanging out at? Uh, he's hanging out over here towards the left, or by Mark Arth. Question Anton Veron. Okay, so we can go to Markarth. Markarth Sta Yeah, didn't we get like a side quest over by the Markarth Staples somewhere? About some guy who wants me to deliver some letter to his son or something? I completely forgot about that mission. Anyways, let's go out of here. And, uh, I, I. Yeah, I think I showed it on camera. I enchanted my uh, ebony daggers, both of them, with the, uh, health, like, sucking and whatnot. So we can, like, steal health from things. So health absorption. So now, uh, God, it's. They're both exquisite. Wait, hold on. I enchanted them both. Yeah, absorbs 18 points of health, but it still shows up as separate things on here for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, favorite both of these. There you go. Sheesh. Does it show up as... Uh, yeah, okay, now they're separate things. What? Yeah, I don't know what's with the ebony dagger. Like, you know, it only shows with one thing there, but whatever. Let's get our instrument out and let's, let's remember to keep using these, this thing. Uh, so where is this guy? Is he inside of... I think he might... Yeah, he's, he's, he's inside of Markarth. Okay. I thought he was, like, outside of Markarth or something, but I guess it, like, showed him inside of Markarth. I didn't even realize it. I forgot what this guy's details were, but I guess we just go find him wherever, right? Let's see. Where are we going? It is kind of, like, dark outside, so we do need to watch out. He could just be, like, sleeping in some sort of house. We don't want to straight up kill him because we need to, you know, get some answers out of him first. Then, of course, leave the dead body behind, because, you know, no loose ends and whatnot. Okay. Understone Keep. Let's go to the Understone Keep. I'll spot in the Mistmen as well, just in case any drama happens. <laughs> we'll be able to take care of said drama pretty easily. Alright, so this guy is in this keep over here. I guess up the stairs from... Oh, we got these dwarven things. Okay, this... Oh, yeah, here we go. There's a dog there. He's over here. Let's go see what he has to say, see if he's going to tell us who this chef is. Hey, chef. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. I know who you are, Anton, and where you're from. Ah, uh, yes, High Rock, home of exquisite Breton cuisine. Uh, let's do this one. Who are you? What do you want? I want some information. The Gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. Alright, well, for the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. Hmm, yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna kill you either way, so might as well tell me, right? 
The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Exactly. Look, his name is Balagog Gronolobe. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Absolutely. <laughs> of course, Aunt John. Thank you. I'm afraid not. Loose sentence and all that. Yeah, let's we'll lie. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Let's do it. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. All right. And versus apprentices. Oh, yep, please, he's leaving. Please, just let me be. I am. I'm sheathing my weapons, sheathing my mistmen. Or Anton will rip my head off. Oh, I'm going to rip his head off. Just hold on. Sheesh. <laughs> and he's going to go to sleep here in a second. You guys just be careful. It'd be a shame if Anton got his throat slit. Oh, no. Oh, I did not want that to happen. Man. Oh, man, now he's dead. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Chef's tunic. Chef's hat. Ring of minor health. Gold necklace. Iron dagger. Let's go put his dead body in the fire. Can I, oh, I can't take this cheese stuff. Whatever. Let's yes. do our good old tradition. You guys are uh, chef's apprentices or whatever. Line cooks. I don't know which one of you might be the... Uh, Head like new head chef or anything, but uh, oh, you got some good old Anton Veron cooking here. Oh, whoops! Oh, fell off. <laughs> Put him on the cooking thing. Don't mind the dogs; they get anxious when they have. <laughs> don't mind the dogs. Don't it's mind your your, your, your head clean. chef over here getting cooked. <laughs> and there you go. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! You're just waving your hands out there like you're trying to warm them. <laughs> you don't even care. Ooh, it's the gourmet's book. Uncommon taste by the gourmet. Congratulations by opening this volume. You have taken the first step on a truly epic journey. A voyage through the vast landscape of Breton food and its myriad joys and wonders. You will explore scents, flavors, and textures so exquisite they will seem impossible. But they are more than possible. Into, oh, whoops, I accidentally... Okay, whatever. You guys can pause her. Oh, whoa, and grow. Oh, here we go. Sunlight souffle. One and a half ounces of cow's cheese. One ounce of butter. One ounce of flour. Nine ounces of milk. A dash of salt. A dash of pepper. And a cup full of ground nutmeg. I wonder if these recipes are actually, like, real. And if I, I, I bet people on YouTube have actually made these recipes. And they probably turned out pretty good. Who knows? Oh, that's it. I'll take the book no matter what. You One bounty at it. Little elf. Oh, you! I'm not an elf. I'm not an elf. Wait, hold on. Do we have a quick save? Yes. I don't know. I might be able to just steal that thing without having to worry about this dumb bounty. Hold on. Where's this quick save? Hopefully, it's not too far back. Uh, yeah, it might be pretty far. I don't, I don't think I did a quick save this whole entire recording session. Whoops. Oh, yep. That was right before I started recording. Ellipsy oh. daisy. Let's go back to the. There we go. It probably uh did a quick load or a quick or a whatever. Yeah, understone keep an auto save right there. Uh, let's do that one. Where we go in, kill the guy. We we could just skip the dialogue and all that stuff. Let's go steal that dumb book. I know it's all about just one gold, but I don't want to have these guards constantly going up on me and being like, oh, "Wait, I know you." <laughs> all right, he's coming back this time, guys. Let's get a quick save now, Serana. You're kind of just like it right there. He's gonna know. Hey, you're gonna come back here, chef, into this spooky little room. Where you're not going to get your throat slit. I wonder if I can get him while we're sitting down. Let's see. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. And no bounty. Get no away one, from me. No one cares. No one cares. Oh, he's jiggling. He's jiggling. Oh, he's having... Oh, my God. This guy's like having a seizure. Jeez. Okay, I can't drag him out of the chair. Oh, my God. I'm not even touching him. I'm not even touching him. He's still wiggling. <laughs> Jeez. Now that's a death rattle if I've ever seen one. Jeez! Let's take that stuff. Free loot. No matter what I do. Hey, hey, your master. He's all the way. Wait, hold on. That's not even a. Oh yeah, I should steal at the very bottom. I thought I thought it didn't even count as stealing. So, anyways, the only person that can watch me is his dead body, and his eyes are closed. So, boom, boom, made a no bounty. No bounty. Oh, he's not glitching out anymore. Cleaning. Good on his work, I see. And yeah, drag him out of there. We can't drag him out. Okay, whatever. He's stuck there now. Hey, dude. Uh -huh. Look at him. He's dancing. Do you see your master? Turn around. Oh, <laughs> do you see him? He's, he's freaking out. He just looks at him and just walks past him like nothing happened. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this game. So many memes. All right. Well, there we go. We, we found out this guy's some orc with some dumb big old name that's like 50,000 letters long. 
And uh, he's staying at some hotel or inn or something. I don't know where this is. I guess we'll look at the map. Uh, I doubt it's here in Markarth. Probably in a different city, right? Yeah, I was just looking at the waypoint. It's in a different city. It's all the way over here in... Kill a Bal Balagog Gronola. What the? Great lift at Alf Alfton. Okay, well, we're going pretty much out to the middle of nowhere over here, which is good. It's kind of secluded. We don't have to worry about, you know, people watching us. We just, you know, assume his identity and whatnot. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, he's... Oh, dragon! What in the world? That There's a giant right on the back of that dragon. Did you guys see that? Is that it? Oh, no one would have to do it. He's gone now. All right, well, let's not kill this guy. Actually, we, uh, yeah, we, we can strip just kill this guy, right? We don't have to worry about it because we already know his identity. We just have to go, you know, kill him, hide the dead body. Assume his identity. Just take his clothes, like, shred out of a cartoon or something, right? <laughs> You just kill them and then put their clothes on and then suddenly you're the gourmet. Anyways, we're, we have to go to this inn. I don't know where it is. Is that it over there by the docks? Or is he hanging out at the docks? Yeah, he's hanging out. Oh, there he is right there. Night gates in discovered. All right, let's get a quick save before we encounter the one and only the gourmet. Hey, gourmet. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. You've served your last meal, Gourmet. Soon the Emperor will die, murdered by the Gourmet. What? The Emperor? But I... I... <laughs> oh. Oh, by the gods. No. No, no. You can't do this. You can't. Okay. Is that it? I guess that's it, huh? And let's... Uh, there we go. He's dead. Oh, God. Oopsie daisy! Drag his body into a hiding place. Oh wait, last note. Wait, what was this last? One? Was he his own witness to his own death or something? Anyways, uh, his writ of passage or whatever. Take that fine clothes. Really, is there like no chef's outfit? I guess I could just wear any chef's outfit, right? Now that we have the uh, the writ of passage. Anyways, we're pouring back to Festus. Festus Acrex. Now we need to go hide his body. Uh, I guess in the river. You see, he is on the docks, so. Might as well just throw the body in the river, feed him to the fishers, hey, you know? <laughs> Let's just go do it. I guess that's what we're supposed to do. I don't remember previous playthroughs throwing him in here. I thought we had to hide him behind, like, a house or something. There we go. Drag his body into a hiding place. It's literally at the bottom. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, that's, that's a bit suspicious. <laughs> he, he just fell in there. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not even deep. It's only, like, three or four feet deep, and that's it. Oh, whatever. Anyways, oh, there's some fresh fish over here. I can just harvest the salmon. Harvest that. Don't mind if I do. Fresh fish -a -roo. <gasps> What's this over here? Just some weird net. All right. Well, there you go. Guess we have to return back to Vestas Crux at the Brotherhood's uh, hideout spot. All the way up on... Uh, at the Sanctuary. The Southern Sanctuary. Not where Cicero was hanging out. I almost called him Cesaro again. Even though I'm pretty sure that's like the same name. Just like a different way of saying it or something. Probably like a... Like John and Juan or something like that, you know. Anyways, let's go back to the dark part of the sanctuary. Be like, hey, I have the writ of passage. The chef is dead. Gourmet is dead. I found out who he was. If you guys want to know, I can tell you he's some random orc fellow. It's, I know it's surprising. Some disgusting, nasty-looking orc is the gourmet, the maker of those fine Breton ing like recipes and foods and everything. I know it's weird. This disgusting creature was the gourmet, the world-famous chef. Anyways, Festus Crex. So, the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? He'll never return. Yeah, he's dead, hater. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. Thanks. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. Oh, no. You performed your duties to the letter. All I've ever wanted to do is serve the sanctuary. Would you expect less from the listener? Yeah, I was born in the kill later and steal because I'm Khajiit and whatnot. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and... A little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. 
It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, that guy's, of course, hanging out down there. We could do his contract, but at the same time, it's always completely and utterly optional. So no real need to do that. It, it, it is just one random old woman, though, and it apparently has something to do with my, like, uh, political thing. Uh, there's nothing really important there. Uh, pertaining to the war and all that stuff, so... Uh, I guess we could do it just to kind of fill the gap between, you know, killing the world-famous chef, the gourmet, the real gourmet, I guess, uh, yeah, let's go report to Astrid while we're here. Then we can go kill that. Oh, yeah, she's like, right, okay, okay. Uh, I took your knives, by so the way. So it's done. You've killed the gourmet. Yeah, he's dead. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Yep, sure is. So it's time. We're ready to assassinate the Emperor. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. I won't disappoint you, Astrid, or the Dark Brotherhood. The Emperor will die for Sithis and the Night Mother. Yes, for Sithis and the Night Mother. You are the listener, after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Hmm. Which poison should I choose? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Uh -huh. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Alright, sounds good. Anything else before I set off? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. What else can you tell me about Jaren Root? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death, so don't even think about it. All right, well, I guess we can't taste our own product before serving it to the Emperor himself. Anyways, I guess we're good to go. Until next time, brother. All right. Oh, you've got another iron knife or iron dagger there. I guess I forgot about that. Whatever. Anyways, I did spot a uh, petty soldier back here. I might as well take it, right? I don't wine and all that stuff. Don't need that garbage. What's inside there? Snowberries. Not bad. Have you ever had uh, meat with juniper berries in it? Because I heard it's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I guess we're good to go now. Alright, well, I guess we could do, uh, this one contract. Kill that one old, uh, old lady. And just, you know, get a little bit of bonus money just for... What in the world does that sound? I keep, yeah, I keep forgetting that the, the door makes some weird sound. I always think it's like a dragon nearby. Anyways, yeah, let's highlight that mission. Kill Agnes. To kill Empire. Report to Camp Commander Morrow. Isn't Commander Morrow dead? I thought I killed him. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, let's see, where is this old, oh, she's, um, over here, we could go to Redoran's Retreat, or we could go to Western Watchtower by Whiterun and head south, okay, let's go to Redoran's Retreat, head southward a little bit, and we'll be good to go, leave that, we're going to make ourselves some glass armor here in the future, hopefully it's actually better than, uh, what we have right now, and, uh, is that it right there, is that where we're headed, that, uh, that castle there, because we are heading southward right now, it's gotta be, yeah, 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 because she was like a steward or something there, wasn't she? Hmm. Anyways, while we're out here, let's get our... Let's see, what's it called? Soul snagging. Let's put that in the right hand. Because we uh, we need it to be in the right hand for us to... Hold on. Take your stuff out. What in the world? I guess I... Can I not equip it? What happened? I thought I could equip this stuff. What happened? There we go. Now I've got the soul snagging. Hey, dude. Kill the wolf. Got him. Kill the wolf. Got him. Got the soul. Nice. Did that wolf fell. Hey, dude. Who has some leather? 
repair some leather armor here in the future. Anyways, this does seem like it's where we're going, but there is an archer fellow up there. No, wait, that's not an archer, that's a... Oh, yeah, there are archers over there, though, right? I just saw some movement. So maybe we can, uh, leave our fellow about right here. It is kind of interesting. This has been, one, it, like, somewhat close to Whiterun, and I don't think I've ever come here before, have I? Yes, yes. Definitely a dummy. I can see an arrow sticking out of it if you guys are watching in 14 4. Oh, yeah, there's a guy right there. Let's get ourselves a bow. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to get them, though. I don't know if those are supposed to be decoys or if they're actually, like, training dummies or what. I don't know if I want to waste this, uh, Daedric arrow on this loser over here. I'm probably going to miss. I have only eight of these things. Yeah, let's put this up. Let's get our, uh, classic ebony daggers. And I guess I'll do a mistman in the- Oh, what? Double dual mistman. There's a mistman right there. Get our, oh, uh, ebony dagger in the right hand. There we go. We're good. We're good, you guys. Let's get a Maroon's razor in the other hand, I suppose, right? Maroon's razor. There you go. Just, uh... Have a chance at doing some death to these guys. Oh, here's the front bit. Oh, there's a dead body hanging there. Okay. There's a lot of spikes here. Okay. Glad I kind of, uh... Yeah, they're, they're showing that off to make sure you, no people off. come inside here. Let everyone know that he's dead. Let everyone know that could be them. Bandit Marauder. We can do it some Fusro Da action. I don't know where I, uh... Wait, what in the world? There, oh! God, that guy just went flying! Oh, even the guy all the way back there got hit. Jeez, that's hardcore as heck. No, we're getting, we're getting sniped though. I don't know where my missman is. I need to be very careful. Let's try and get this guy. Get a crit. Got him. Got a crit. And got him with the Maroon's dagger. Nice. Get that. Uh, orc arrows. I guess I'll take that. Might as well, right? It's a decent arrows. Anyways, this guy has this, uh, steel plate armor and all that stuff. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we can carry it. I don't know if I want to though, but uh, orcish dagger don't need that garbage. What about this guy? He's just a regular man with only two gold to his name. Now he's got zero gold to his name. Anyways, we're getting sniped. We need to watch out. There's a fellow over there. I don't know where my mistman is. I just conjured him in. I suppose I could conjure in another one of these things. And, oh, there we go. Got another mistman right there. We aren't getting hit. We do need to watch out. There's a fellow up here. Oh, got him. Critical strike and killed him with Maroon's razor. Nice. Get ourselves a little bit more gold. And it looks like our mistman's actually doing a pretty good job. Yep. That guy's... He's got an eye spike, like, right in his head. Look at that. That's crazy. And he's probably like the... the I guess this Marauder's actually got a pretty decent amount of health if he's still alive after a few misspent shots. They yeah, just took a little bit of friendly fire right there. Alright, well, anyways, let's get ourselves a... what is it? There we go, let's get a little bit of fast healing action. ba boom hey do. Get ourselves a little bit of restoration up. Might as well. Our mountain flowers and all that stuff. We do need to go inside there. Kill that old lady. Is everyone dead? I don't know if that's Serana talking out there. Yeah, where is Serana? I don't think I've seen her. I don't know where she is. I just heard someone yelling. I don't think it was my missman, right? I don't think that guy could talk. <laughs> Anyways, there's my missman. There's a fellow somewhere around here. I don't know where. Anyways, let's just go inside. Let's get ourselves a Maroon's Razor. As our secondary weapon. And we can spawn in another missman inside of here if we need to. But we do need to assassinate this woman. Which I don't even know what the point of this is. If we're, you know, killing literally everyone else. So, anyways, uh, we do have some bread over here. I might as well take it. As a little bit of a payment for my duties. And of course, uh, I am American, so I love me some food. Anyways, looks like she's behind this door. Let's continue on. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Serana? Oh, that's you. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's get the quick save and let's go. Now, ain't this a surprise? Oh, got her, got her. Nice. And they're all dead. Okay, report back to Nazir. She's dead. This orc is dead. There you go. Russell's over here. Flame Antronach. This guy's getting murdered. There we go, good job. I love soaking up their health and whatnot with these, uh, these daggers. Very good stuff. Anyways, is that it for this place? The ones to stay on stealth. <laughs> I love how every time that we have to, like, murder someone, kill someone, Serana just brings them back to life like it's nothing. Draw to strength, that's pretty good money right there. Yeah, look at that, she's back to life. Can I kill her? I'm killing her again. Oh my god, double death. I'm going to soak up your health again. <laughs> oh, now you're going to get, yep, turn it into ashes. Yep. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Should probably watch out uh, for wasting our charge on our ebony dagger. Because it is a literal waste by wasting it on her. But, eh, kind of funny for the memes. A little bit of gloves right there. Wolf belt. I'll take that wolf belt. We do have a lot of carry weight right now because I did lean me out right before starting the recording session. So I think we're good to go. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Don't, real, don't really need that. But all that stuff that we just got was pretty good stamina. A little bit of a skiver right there. 
assume we're uh, in the basement bits of this place. I'm like, we're, we're here, might as well make use of it. Oh, oh god, I hit a thing. Whoops. There's a tripwire here as well. There's a little, uh, thing, okay. Well, there is a sewer over here. Is this... Oh, okay, that goes out of the Skyrim. Okay, that's kind of cool. What? Let's see what's going on over here. Make sure we don't hit any more traps. Where does this go? This goes upward to... Oh, some sort of t torture what? chamber. Oh, I didn't see this bandit. Whoa, soaked up your health, hey, uh. So it's up the health that I lost from that trap, right? <laughs> novice level thing. Is that trapped? Don't look like it's trapped. Okay, it's novice level, so it's probably going to be here in the middle. Yep, there you got it. Nice. And got a diamond. Whoa, look at that. Glass boots have eminent sneaking. That's pfft. honestly, that's like really good. That's really good money. That's a really good thing of armor. How's that? How's that compare to our current boots of ancient farmer boots? 46 armor rating. The glass boots is 30. But, of course, our... But, oh my god, that's a burnt corpse. Of course, our... Uh, ancient farmer is... And, uh, improved, so... Yeah, there's another burnt corpse right there. A little bit of gold, I'm out of a do. So, I wonder if the glass is actually, like, comparable to the ancient farmer after, you know, it's been improved and all that stuff. Anyways, where in the world are you going? Over here. Oh, here we go. Got ourselves a couple right, bandits right. over here getting murdered. There we go, got those guys. There's a couple more up here, upstairs. And, oh! Bad and thug! Bad and thug! Ah, got him! Nice! Good job! Good job, Serana. He totally held down right there. Anyways, uh... I thought there was, like, another person up here, but I guess not. Anyways, was this guy that dressed a little bit of money? Nope, no money! What is with these losers? What, a bunch of bandits over here and they don't even have any money. I did see a Skyrim chest over there, but we do have a book called Rizlov the Righteous. Or Rizlov or something. Anyways, Skyrim chest, a little bit of loot. Grand Soul Gem, Silver Jewels, a Necklace, 280 bucks, and an Ebony Bow. That's gonna be some good money here in a bit. I can always improve that, enchant it, and sell for some good eatings. Anyways, a Skyrim helmet, don't need that garbage. At least not right now. A little bit of gold from that guy. And I think we're good to go, is that it? We're kind of like in the upper deck of the area. So we do need to like, fall down if we're gonna, you know, like exit up here, but uh, we have some grilled leeks, seared slaughterfish, baked potatoes, a little bit more of that uh, seared slaughterfish right there. I think we're good to go, some good eatings. Argonian accident. I think we're good to go, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, what's this over here? Did we? Uh, oh. Oh yeah, this is the front bit that we uh, we killed the old lady. Okay, that was just the other direction that we didn't even go to. Okay, well here's the front door. Okay, we're going in. We're going out the same way we went in. Right out here. I thought we were going to peer like out up there, but I guess we could go check over there, right? Let's go check over there. There is like a tower. Usually those things have a little bit of a loot at the top of them, like a chest or something. So might as well go check see if we can get some ju 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 juicy loot. And oh, there's a fellow. I can see a fellow. Let's try and get her with a Maroon's Razor. Oh wow, she's still alive. Let's do some double dual wielding, double dagger action. Oh, there you go. A little bit of a flutterood. Oh man, she has a good amount of money. Whoa, a Nordic War Axe. What? I don't think I've ever seen those in this game uh, yet. That's pretty good. I don't know where it is on the hierarchy, but it seems like it's pretty good. It was like, what was it, 39 baseline damage? That's actually... Without, uh, in, uh, like, any improvements and all that stuff, that could probably go up, like, 50-something if I improve it. Now I don't know where it is on the hierarchy, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get, like, exquisite flawless or what. But, oh, here we go. Yep, there's a chest inside of your little bit of gold. Lockpicking and petty soul gem with a petty soul inside of it. That's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, I guess we can't go to the top of this thing. I guess... Let's move there's, like, faster. no stairs. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Serana. Want skin. me to move fast? I'll, I'll move fast if you can get out of the way. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, is that another... T is that, that's a different chest. Oh, yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, I think that's it. I think we might have looted everything over here worthwhile, so might as well make our way on out of here. And, uh... Oh, yeah, there is, uh, blacksmith stuff over here, so hold on. Where is the, um... The grindstone? I want to just check, because even though I don't have a... Whatever you need for Nordic carved stuff. Even though I don't have that, I can still check. Where in the world is it? Do they not have a grindstone here? I mean, it might be, like, somewhere else. Uh, I guess we can always check back at, like, Solitude or wherever we, we can go next, but... Yeah, there's, like, no grind... Oh, am I blind? Do you guys see the grindstone and I don't? <laughs> I feel like I'm completely missing it right here. Here's the forge. Here's the, uh, armor table. There's no grindstone. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll go check, uh, some other place, but got this contract nice and fulfilled. 
Oh yeah, we can, we can go check back, the, back at the Dark Brother Sanctuary. I think they have, uh, grindstone forges and all that stuff here anyway, so we just check here, no problem. Oh no, Serana's companion that she totally told to, you know, follow her and all that stuff on Twitter at Waffle first. Completely just disintegrated. Oh no, whoopsie daisy. Let's go inside here and tell, uh, Nazir, hey, get your big old fat butt up and, uh, give me some money for this contract. I know you're always hanging out in the cafeteria. Just <laughs> eating your sorrows away or something. Anyways, let's go over to the grindstone. And where is it? Nordic. It's N. Nordic War Axe. Oh my god, yeah! Up to 61. It requires Quicksilver Ink. Is, is, is Nordic stuff? Is that above? Uh, Ebony? Or Ebony Daggers? I know daggers aren't like the like hardest hitting things, but they are like pretty fast weapons. Uh, War Axe is there. They're pretty well rounded. I like them. But 39 all the way up to 61, that is good. That's got to be either above or like right below Ebony or something like that. Because that is crazy. Actually, yeah, maybe maybe Nordic is a part of the um uh, scaled and plate armor or whatever. That's over here. Yeah, maybe it's that where I'm able to improve them twice as much. Because that is some good improvement. Anyways, let's go to this here. Let's get our money. And I think next we're going to be poisoning the Emperor. So definitely stay tuned for that. Reek of Death, my friend. I salute you. Thanks. Agnes is dead, hey? Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. It was nothing. Your payment for services rendered. How much was that? I wasn't paying attention. Any more contracts? Well, yes. Two of them. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinshaleft, and Helvard, the housecarl of Falkreath. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. Ooh. This actually has me intrigued. I don't think I've ever done all the contracts for this guy, so I wonder if Happy this final hunting. contract is something, you know, relatively big that we'll get some good money from. Huh. I don't know, maybe next episode or something we'll come back and do these two contracts, find out what this last one is, and then we can go uh, do the Emperor thing. I'm actually kind of intrigued by that now. Anyways, I guess I'll end the episode right here, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you do not miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Skyrim Remastered. And we're going to be poisoning the Emperor here pretty soon. Just definitely stay tuned for that because that is like a huge part of the storyline. And who knows what we're going to do after that. Who knows? Maybe we're going to do some of these other... Um, quests and stuff where we apparently have to like leave Skyrim for one of these quests. Yeah, we have to travel to Solstheim or Solstheim or however you pronounce that. So that's uh, one of the Dragonborn uh, things that we have to do a little bit later with the cultists and all that stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that as, you know, the time comes. But for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching and I will see you guys here next time with some more Skyrim Remastered. Oh, bye there.